This afternoon, they called the bluff of league defending league champion Sakura Hearts of Oak here to battle for three golden undiluted points. Hello everyone, welcome. This is the Akun Park, the home ground of Mediama Sporting Club. This afternoon, they battle Accra Hearts of Oak in a match day six encounter here, and it is valued for three points. This match should have been played during match day six, but we all understand why the match had to be uh, rescheduled, and it was by virtue of the fact that Accra Hearts of Oak were surgeoning in Africa. My name is Prince and together with Prof. Judah Champong, we welcome you to the starting 11 of the home side, Mediama Sporting Club, who have Boris Manju Jr. in a goal. Kwesi Donsu takes over the captain's armband today against Accra Hearts of Oku this afternoon have uh, Richmond Ayi in goal. Mohamed Al Hassan also takes over the captain's armband today. Frederick Ansan Botre, William Intori Denchi Gladson Awako, Junior Obing Kwejo, Robert Adosoa. Well, Prince, it is a cliffhanger here at the Akon Park. Mediam are looking very good at home this season, yet to lose a game at the Akon Park. Here we go with the game. Accra Hearts of Oak playing from right to left, who's uh, in goal today. And uh, Jude told you, calamitous attempt he made at saving a free kick, and that led to the goal scored by Brickham Chelsea. The last time the visitors were here, Richard Ayi comes out acrobatically, makes a save, but he's down in pain. And a flow has shot from Ajay Boache, not the best, not even on target. But here, the delivery, excellent. Looking for Ahmed Touri, could he get there? But the goalkeeper, Richmond Ayi, came out and punched that ball away from danger. Brave goalkeeping. That's trickery there. Obeying Jenia, creating an opportunity for himself. That was close. Yeah, really close. That time, the pass from Afriye Banier, excellently done. Just look at Obey Jr. Kept his cool. Couldn't get it on target, but the Bidema defenders were in trouble. That pass through the middle from Banier. Look at the finish. I think I did very well to close in on. But slowly, but surely, Bidema trying to uh, lay some imprints in the game. Abu had to bring him down. Here, just look at that 10. Brilliantly done. There's nothing Abu could have done than to bring him down. Last in by Rashi. Can they get a tap into it? Yes, they can. But Richmond are in the right place at the right time. And Opoku Ajiman misses a glorious opportunity. Look at that free kick from Rashid Nante with pace and power. And then Opoku Ajiman should be doing better. Thought he had scored. There. Should be putting the ball at the back of net. He's been the live wire, and it's almost always very possible that once he's in the game, a lot of chances will be created by the phobians. But this time, it's an opportunity for Media. My lovely check in by Kure. Ball was a bit flighted, but the idea was good. With that experience, look at Rashid Norti, expertly done. Brilliant pass, and look at the dummy. Oh, and the House of Folk defenders were in trouble. Rashid sweeps one in. If he was right there on the spot, we'll give the advantage to the Phobians. But those free kick has been excellent from Rashid Norte. Yeah. Brilliant delivery in a, into a very dangerous position where you'd expect goalkeeper to deal with it and there. Uh, indicate Frimpong, Boache, Frimpong again. Failed attempt at the cross by uh, Boache, but he gets the ball back nicely. Floated in by uh, King Archison. Opportunity for Opoku, but it was cleared out nicely before he could get to the ball. Then a shot is fired from target. Goalkeeper Ayi parries that away. Fortunately, William Denchi. Here we see the drive again. Wonderfully done. Brilliant strike and good save. Ayi went down very well. And he signals the end of the first half here at the Akon Park. Kick us off for the second half as they play from right to left. Watching lays on the pass. This looks good. Donsu into the 18 yard box. Opportunity for Mediama. I mean, if it was a young player who squandered that chance, who could not put that ball at the back of the net. I will not be surprised, but 
the crossing was superb. Just needed that composure, Ahmed Toure. Not entirely cleared as yet, as Mediama keep coming forward. It's going to be another end swinger. And that was nicely done. Toure getting closer and closer. But again, found Richmond Ayi, the stumbling block. Frippon with that delivery by the header. I bet Toure thought he had scored there. And look at that cross again from Frippon. The header, expertly done, but look at the save. And blurted out by Buedu, the head coach. A free eight. He does the turn, decides to go for glory. Punched out over the line for a corner kick to the Phobians. Good work. Good play from a free eight. Again, when he got the ball, there was nobody to challenge, nobody to press him up. Play by Abedu. Now, they come forward. The king himself. Still being edged on. Chance for Ahmed Toure. Brought down in the box. And it's a penalty. Amazing scenes here, Prince. Rush challenge from Robert Addo. And here, Atchison best through the house of four midfield without pace. And it was a brilliant call from referee Paddy. There, Toure in front of Robert Addo. So and Asoa. Atinga goes by the side. One, two, three. Easy does it. Brilliant. Amazing. I mean, if you know Vincent Atinga, he takes penalty with all the confidence in the world. Could he even make a move? And this is the kind of confidence you expect to see from your penalty takers. And Atinga. What a free kick. What a penalty kick, sorry. That's a battle for the ball there. Player goes down in the process. Mohamed Alassan. Here. He had all the time to clear that ball away from danger. But, but it was a lackadaisical approach from Alassan and Akambi, who is very, very quick, got in front of him and you have to heckle him down. And uh, that's the uh, striker for Accra Hearts of Hope, Obing Ajenia, together with uh, Ajay Buachi going into the referee's uh, books. Lots of heckling. And it looks like Obing Ajenia. Is going off. Obeng Jr. goes off, and I think that's a second book of all offense. And so he's been shown there. Red card, free kick is on. Power drive from behind. And it goes wide. That was from King Atchison. He had scored. It would have uh, crowned a remarkable day for him. Had a good game today, King Archerson. But eventually blasting it wide. Mohamed Alassan gets the game underway. And that's the end of the match. Referee Kenny Paddy brings it all to an end. And Mediama Sporting Club pick up the valuable three points at the expense of the defending league champions.